This problem, we need to find the area using the midpoint rule, and it says to use first two and then four rectangles. So we're going to do x cubed between four and five. Uh, so first thing we want to do is figure out what the delta x is going to be. So what I'm going to show now is going to be for two rectangles. So to find that, our delta x is going to be a minus b, so 5 minus 4 all over 2, which means that we get 1 half is delta x. Now, this one says express your answer as fractions. So for this, I want to keep my answer in terms of fractions for all the calculations that I do here. So we have delta x. So now we have to figure out uh, what values to put into f of x so that can determine the height of the rectangles. So if we're between 4 and 5, I'm just going to draw a little sketch of this. So I'm between four and five, which means that if I'm going by halves, that means that right here is gonna have to be four and a half or nine halves. So just add a half, four plus a half gives nine halves, plus a half you get five. Now, these are not the values that I wanna put into my f of x. I have to evaluate that at the midpoint of these rectangles. So imagine these here, they're going to go up to a certain amount. And they're going to go up and touch the graph somewhere up here. So in between is going to be the midpoint. So I want to find the midpoint between four and nine halves and the midpoint between nine halves and five. Now, the way you want to do this is just find the average. You can add the numbers together and divide by two uh, would be the easiest way of doing that. So four plus nine halves all divided by two. Okay, so that's what we're going to do here. Add them together, divide by two, you're finding the average. So in doing so here, if I add the top together, that's going to be 17 halves. I'm dividing it by two, so I get 17 fourths. So that's what this is. I'll circle the numbers that I'm actually going to use to put into the function itself. So I want to use 17 fourths is the first value. Now the other one I'm going to do is 9 halves plus 5, and then divide this by two. So adding these together, you're going to get 19 halves, divide that by two, and then you get 19 fourths. So 19 fourths is going to go there. So now these are the two values that I want to use for the midpoint here. These are my dotted lines uh, values I'm using. So it's next thing we'll evaluate at those points. So I want to do f of 17 Force. Now, the way we'll do this is put 17 fourths back into the original one. It's cubed, which means we have to cube the top number and cube the bottom number. So this one, if you do 17 cubed, you're going to get 49, 13, and then over 64, that's 4 cubed. Now I want to find F of 19 quarters. So that's going to be 19 quarters, and that's going to be cubed. Okay, so I get 68 59 over 64. So those are my two lengths of the rectangle. That's how high, that's where they would hit the graph at both those points. And the heights here, that's going to give you the length of the rectangles. So now we just have to figure out the areas of each of these. Now the area would be length 1 times W plus length 2 times W. So area of the first rectangle, area of the second one. So the length one that we have here, the first length that we have is going to be 49, 13 over 64. But then we're going to multiply that by our width, which is delta X. So I'm going to multiply that by a half. And then I'm going to do 68, 59 over 64. And I'm going to multiply that by one half. So this is what it's going to look like when we set everything all up. So the area of the first triangle and area of the second triangle. Okay, so now it's just a matter of putting this into the calculator. And so essentially what we're going to do here is the bottom 64 times 2 is 128. So we're just going to add these two numbers together since we now have common denominators. 4913 plus 6859, that's going to give us 11772 over 128. And then we're going to reduce that. So you get 29, 43 over 32. All right. So that right there is going to be the answer 
for two rectangles. That's the area of each one by using two rectangles, 2943 over 32, and that is would be fully reduced. All right, so the next thing we wanna do is do the same problem, but now we're gonna do that with four rectangles. Okay, so four rectangles. Okay, so if we do that with four rectangles, we wanna find a new delta x. So five minus four, but this time it's divided by four. So I get a quarter. So now I have to figure out, again, I'm gonna do another little drawing here. And I'll make it a little bit longer this time. So four, we're still going from four to five, but this time we're actually separating this into, uh, into four. So we're gonna have rectangles are going to look something like this. So one, two, three, four different rectangles. And then these dotted lines I'll need to find. And that's where I'm, I'm going to be getting my heights from. So first, let's just get these endpoints for the, each of the rectangles. Let's do that first. So four, we're going to add a quarter to that. So if you add a quarter to it, then that's going to be 17 fourths here. We're going to add another quarter to that. And then we're going to get nine halves. Add another quarter to that. And that's going to be 19 fourths. So that's gonna be where the dividing line is between each of the different rectangles. Okay, but now I need to figure out what these dotted lines are. So this is where we're gonna use midpoints again. We wanna find the midpoint between four and 17 fourths. So again, how we do this is you're gonna add them together and divide by two. So if I add that together and uh, divide by two, that's gonna give us what the first one's going to be. So this is gonna give us just 33 over 8. I'll just, work, just give you the final answer on that. Now, the next one we want to do is 17 fourths plus 9 halves, all that, over 2. Again, it's divided by 2 because you're taking the average of each of these. It has nothing to do with the delta x. You're adding them together, dividing by 2. So that's why we're using a 2 down here and not a 4. Okay, so if we do that, we're going to get 35 over 8. So I found this is 33 over 8. I'll circle it. This is 35 over 8. Circle that. So these are the first two values I want to put into the uh, X cubed. Now, if I continue this pattern, what you're going to find is this is 37. So it goes by odd numbers. So we're going to do 37 over 8 and then 39 over 8. So these are the values I need to put now into X cubed. So I want to find F of 33 eighths. I want to find f of 35 eighths, f of 37 eighths, and f of 39 over 8. Now, we're just going to do these the same way we did the other ones. Put it into the cube, and you're cubing the top number and bottom number. So I'm just going to give you the result when we do that. So this first one, you get 35937 over 512. And I'm just going to write out all these other ones that we get by calculating those. So I'm just writing each of these again. How I'm getting these is you're, you're plugging in the number in the parentheses, you're just cubing that because the original problem was X cubed. Okay, so we have 512 on this one. Uh, and then we have 59319, and that's gonna be over 512. Okay, so these are all the different values that you're gonna get by basically cubing the number inside the parentheses. So these numbers can get pretty big here, but don't worry about it because again, just because you get big numbers doesn't necessarily mean that the answer is wrong here. So all these uh, are the correct values that you should have. Okay, so next I wanna find the area. Now, normally I would do this L1W plus L2W plus dot, dot, dot. That continues that way. But instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out the W, and then I just get L1 plus L2 plus, in this case, I, I actually have four values on this. So I'm going to just do W, and then L1 plus L2 plus L3 plus L4. That's all these four values I just found doing the midpoint. So writing that out, I'm going to have a one quarter here because that's our width. And then we're just going to write these numbers out 
uh, inside here. So three, five, nine, three, seven over five, 12. And I'm just gonna keep adding these all for the rest of this. So it takes a little bit to write it all out, but doing it this way ensures that you're multiplying and adding the correct numbers because it's easy to make a typo here when you have those. Okay, so now I have all four of these values have now been put in here. So I just need to add all these together. Now, the best way to add those together uh, would just simply be, we know that's going to be 512, because that's the common denominator. Just add these numbers together so that you don't have to enter all this in because it takes a long time to put in a calculator. Just add these top numbers. Okay, so if you just add those top numbers together, this is what you'll get. You'll get 188784. Uh, you'll get inside here over 512. Now that inside, you can reduce that. So before I multiply by the one quarter, I'm first going to reduce inside there. So 11799, and that's going to be over 32 is what that's going to reduce if you reduce it. Now we're going to multiply across the top, across the bottom. And what we get as our result is going to be 11799. Pen's glitching out here. 11799 over 128. Okay, so this, uh, this right here is going to be your final answer for four rectangles. So 11,799 over 128. So that's our answer for four rectangles. And then we have 2943 over 32, that's going to be your answer for two rectangles.